the thing is that we've been starting something and then you just win it for the passion. It's never easy, but I have always encouraged myself. My name is Mary Mable. I hail from Bob County. I was born in Tabitha, 1994, September 9th. When did you start making juices? Okay. So, at first it wasn't juice. I started with fruit bowl. And coming to the fruit bowl, I actually started with a farm, a farm in Bob County, because since I was a kid, my parents have been involved into farming. But the only farming they have been involved into is subsisting farming, in which they are just able to feed the family. So I had that mindset of going back to the soil and then make farm. But then when I started it, I started with plenty of banana farm, it never went well. So I came to Monrovia with a few of my friends. I said, this is what went wrong because of the, they, they overuse the soil. So what can we do to generate money to go back? So I started with fruit bowl. I used to make fresh fruit bowl and get the, the fruits from Rare Light, package it and carry it to the offices in Monrovia. So that's what I started with. Okay. So what motivated you to make fruit juices? Like we have a lot of other businesses to start, right? What motivated you to choose the fruit juices you know, as a specific business to my motivation comes from me being an agriculturist because I'm in the Stella Marie's Polytechnic where I study agriculture. Like I said, from my background, my parents have been into agriculture. So growing up, that's what I saw. And then when I graduated from high school, Kingdom Foundation Institute, I, I noticed that agriculture field is in rural universities. So I went for that. So from there, I, cre I created a passion that I can since I'm, great, since I'm studying agriculture, I can also do a business that relates to what I'm doing. Oh, that sounds good though. So, what's the biggest factor that has helped you to be successful in this business? It hasn't, it hasn't been easy. The thing is that when you start something and then you just win it for the passion, it's never easy, but I have always encouraged myself for a friend and then few good people, good friends around who have motivated me to come this far. Okay. So like you said, starting anything or specifically a business is kind of tedious, right? Yes. So what are, what has helped you to, to grow this business even though I think you are not up to where you want to be, right? But what has helped you to reach this far? So when I started the, the packaging of, of fruits in both of your offices, I noticed that it couldn't continue. Reason being, I was just doing it, like I said, for the passion. But before you start a good business and to get profit and all that thing, you have to know what you put it in and what you take it out. So the business collapsed, I guess. So I found a job to be very liberal where I was a phone now staff. I started working there as a phone now staff. There, I learned how to paste smoothies. And then later on, YouTube helped me to, to know the different kinds of juices I made now. And then few people helped me, they motivated me. They said, you can do this, you can go back to what you really want to do. And that's how my boss made from Pinberry. I have two gyms. He, he taught me the different recipe of the smoothies. And then my boss, from, another boss, for Jefferson Pura, he also helped me in, pitch, in, in investing in the business because he noticed that I really want to do this and what can he do to help? Because he already know from a very long journey, I've been, I just want to do this. So he said, I can invest in this business for you to come this far. So this is where we are now. All right, so, uh, so taking into consideration the, the current economy, right? And uh, does Labrain economy rest discourage local Labrain from supporting businesses like you starting a business and people have to come back from you, right? Yes. So taking into consideration the economy, do you think the economy, right, kind of discourage people from buying? Can you tell us something about that, right? 
for that, no money for my for my business, the fruits, the fruits stand and juices. People are not really used to it. People are not used to eating natural fruits and other things, especially making it. I know along the road you will see banana, you will like to have it, or for having it in smoothies or having water made up with juice. People are not used to stuff like that. So it's kind of difficult. That's why the prices are very reasonable. We start with 300 with food bowl, and 400 the juices, and then 500 for the smoothies. So for that, I can be able to capture all the views. It can just be for people who have car, people who are able to afford, but it's for everyone. So what do you enjoy most about doing what you do? What I enjoy most is that because this is my dream, this is where I found myself in life. I admire myself doing what I do so much. If you wake me up at 6 a.m., I will tell you about farming. I will tell you about making natural juices to get a healthy life to people around. So like you said, you find it difficult, especially in Liberia, to see people, you know, an ordinary librarian just going for fruits, right? Do you think it's healthy for a person to drink juice every day. Yeah, you being into this sector and starting this business. What's your advice? Eating fruits and drinking juice is very healthy, especially natural juice. Something that is made without chemical. Something that is that there is no added sugar. So it's very healthy. Like we 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 don't we don't use sugar here. What whatever the machine gave us, we just put water made of pineapple and then we just get water made of pineapple juice. So it's very healthy. It's just pure water milk and pineapple juice. It's good for the body. You don't have to, like I was saying the other time, you don't have to go to a supermarket where they put chemical on certain juice to keep it to stay very low. But yeah, it's good for the health. So, what are some of your best juices combination? Like, what are some of the juices you have the best one? So we have water milk and pineapple juice, cucumber pineapple juice, passion fruit, Sour soap and in smoothies we have the avocado ginger, mango pineapple, and strawberry banana. So tell us something that you have done in your life which you are particularly proud of. So trying to provide healthy food for my fellow Liberians and also as a young woman from the agriculture iceberg, trying to help other people know that they can have interest in agriculture and also they can have interest in themselves. Whatever you believe in, you can do it. No matter the circumstances, just trust God. You can, you can do every, you can, everything is impossible to God. So through that, I know that, yes, I'm very proud. My friends, they send me messages saying they are proud of me. They're happy that I took this step. It's something to be happy about. It's something to be grateful for. So, can you tell us a little bit about your background relating to which county you're from? So, I hail from Bone County. I started school at 10 years at Kidon Foundation Institute. 10 years starting school. It wasn't easy for me. I was laughed at, good at because of my age. And then later, I have to, my principal have to encourage me and send me to a learning program for the ALP. ALP is like, if, you, if you're very big for your class, they have to put you among 30 people to learn first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, or sixth grade lessons so that you can pass to seventh grade. So I was placed in that class and then we graduated from sixth grade with a few other girls, few other students who went to seventh grade. Through that, I knew that I can, I can do anything this part. So, okay, that's good. So is there any other thing you would like to inform the public about? I would like to inform the public about the prices we have. We have 300 for the fruit bowl, 400 for the natural juices, and 500 for the smoothies, and also the location of the area. The place is Congo Town, before last Maha, or right to Jote Junction. If you're coming from town, you look on the right, you see the yellow container. You look on the left. I mean, if you're coming from red lights, you look on the right. You see the yellow container. And also, I want to encourage my friends, my fellow librarians, that we can do whatever is best for us to do for our country because this is the only country we have. Library is all we have. 
whatever we put into Liberia, that's what we will get. We can, you can be, a, I, am, I am a change maker now, you, you too you can be a change maker. So believe in yourself and trust God for everything. Yeah, so how can people find you online? What are some of those means we can find you online? So we on Instagram, Makos Fruit, M-A-K-O-S, 10 Fruit, and we on Facebook too. Also, if you want to contact my number to get a location or to get the prices of the fruits, you call 770 646648 Okay, so thank you anyway. It was a pleasure having you. Thanks so much, family. I appreciate it.